Hey, I'm Matt from MasterSketchup.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your 3D model and print it at full scale. So in this example, we're gonna use something that actually spans bigger than one single sheet of paper and I'm gonna show you how SketchUp can actually automatically span that out over multiple sheets of paper that you can you know, print out and then tape together and use as a stencil, for instance, if you're cutting out something on a bandsaw or scroll saw. So if you've ever tried to do this and SketchUp like used a hundred pages to print out something that should have only fit on a single sheet, then this video is for you. I'm gonna tell you exactly why that happened and give you some specific steps that you can follow every single time. That way it'll work exactly as you intended to. All right, so I'm just in a new model right now and I'm gonna go grab a corbel from the 3D warehouse. So I like this one here from Don B. So the first thing you need to do is isolate the thing that you want to print out. So in this case, I just need to hide everything except for this one piece, uh, this one component that I wanna print out. So I'll just hide all of these. This looks like a little signature over here. So I've hidden everything except for the one component that I wanna print. All right, so next there's two things that you have to do to print to scale. The first thing is you need to make sure the camera is in parallel projection mode. So you go to the camera menu and select parallel projection. And the next thing you need to do is set your camera to one of the standard views. So you can go up to camera, standard views, and in this case, I want front. So that's gonna align the camera perfectly so it's looking directly at the front um, of the model. And you can also access those standard views from these uh, toolbar buttons here if you have the views toolbar active. Now this is the point where most people get tripped up. So one of the things that's really kind of unexpected about printing directly from SketchUp is that it doesn't actually look at just your model. It looks at the entire workspace that you have visible um, and so what it would do if I tried to print this out just like this, it would actually take this entire space and divide this up over the number of, of pages, depending on the size page that I print. Let's say I'm printing out eight and a half by 11. Um, it would actually lay out this entire workspace over however many eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper I would need. Um, in order to print that out. And that's where you get a lot of those um, blank pages. If you've ever done this before, that's where you get all those blank pages when you go to try to print your model. All right, so instead what you need to do is actually resize the SketchUp window itself to fit the aspect ratio of the part of the model that you're trying to print out. So another trick that you can use is zoom extents which uh, the keyboard shortcut is Shift Z, so that will zoom your model in to fit into the the uh, the window. But you also need to worry about the width here uh, or the height, depending on your the way your model is set up. So you just want to resize the window so you crop out as much empty space as possible around the model. Which, by the way, that is a Cybertruck on my desktop. Um, uh, maybe someday, maybe someday. So again, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. You can hold shift while using the middle mouse button uh, to pan. But the one thing you don't wanna do is orbit because if you accidentally orbit, it's not gonna let you scale it. So you need to make sure you always remain in that front view and you're either using zoom extents or you're zooming or panning in order to get the, the model to, to fit into the, the work area. And again, by just dragging the, the SketchUp window itself, you're actually resizing this work area window in order to, to crop out uh, the empty space around it. All right, the next step is to go up to File and you wanna check, you wanna to go to print setup in order to just verify 
the printer and the paper size that you intend to print on. And also look at the orientation, um, whether you want it to print out in portrait or landscape, that'll determine how the model gets split up over each page. And you might find that one orientation works better than the other. So I'm gonna print to PDF in this example, but you can actually print right to your, you can actually select your printer when you do this because we're gonna be doing a print preview first to verify everything uh, looks as we expect it to look. Um, so you don't have to worry about like wasting paper if something gets set up incorrectly. We're gonna look at a preview first. So then once we've verified that, we're gonna go back to file and go to print preview. Again, you wanna check the printer, make sure you have the correct printer selected there, and you want to turn off fit to page. So what fit to page does is it will take this workspace uh, area here and it'll scale it either up or down depending on the size of the, you know, the actual dimensions of your model. It'll scale it to just fill the page um, depending on whatever paper size you have selected. So that's not what we want because we wanna print at full scale. So we wanna disable fit to page and we also wanna disable use model extents. Now you would think that this feature would prevent you from having to play around with the size of the SketchUp window itself, but I have done a ton of research and testing on this specifically, and I found it to be quite buggy. Um, there, there's several forum posts that discuss this. I actually started a new forum post um, where I got a lot of great feedback from uh, some really smart SketchUp people. Um, and I've determined that this feature just doesn't work predictably all the time. And when it does work, it doesn't uh, crop the, the white space around the model in the same to the same level that you can if you do it manually. So um, hopefully it gets fixed in the future, but for now, don't have that uh, option checked and make sure you resize the empty space there. Okay, so now we just need to set the scale. So we want this to be uh, one inch in the printout equals one inch in SketchUp. And if you're updating this number, you just gotta make sure you hit tab uh, and you'll see the numbers update. Now this over here, it says page size. I, I kind of feel like that's a little deceiving because it implies it's saying that's the size of the paper that it's gonna print on, but that's not really, that's not really what it means. Really, it just means that's the total print area that's gonna be printed. So this, um, this corbel is actually, it's about 30 inches tall. So you can see that when we print at a one-to-one -one scale, the width is about two feet and the height is 32, I'm sorry, uh, 23 inches and the height is 32 inches. Now, if you're looking at this window and the scale is disabled, even though you've, you've disabled fit to page and disabled use model extents, it's because you're either not in parallel projection or you're not using a standard view. So you need to make sure that you're in a standard view, you're in parallel projection, and then when you go back to print preview, this will be available. All right, so then when you click OK, uh, it's gonna show you the preview of how it's gonna print out. Now, because this is a PDF in my example here, it's printing right up to the edge of the paper. Um, if you select an actual printer, it's gonna know that there's some margins around the paper that the printer's not gonna be able to print on and the layout will actually adjust accordingly. So it's gonna print out still at full scale, nothing's gonna be cropped, it's just gonna be adjusted accordingly and might need to use additional paper um, to fit everything. So if we go through each page, we can see. And the other thing to note is you still might have some empty pages. It all depends on how, you know, the shape of your model, because it's gonna, it's still printing that rectangular um, work area. So there still might be some parts of that area that don't have any of the model on it. And you might have some blank pages there. All right, so then we'll just hit print, and this is just confirming all the settings we just did. We'll hit OK, and there we go. So we have um, nine pages that 
get printed out so this does print out at full scale. So you just take each paper and tape it together, you know, align the lines, and then you can use that as your template. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next video.